Now most famous as Netflix's surprise hit of the 2019 holiday season, The Witcher started life as a series of fantasy books and short stories written by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski. The franchise's fortunes really took off in 2007, when game developer CD Projekt Red produced the first of three smash hit video games based on The Witcher. It was in the games that Triss Marigold went from a magic-wielding secondary character lusting after the titular monster slayer Geralt to a magic-wielding major character and Geralt's actual, though occasional, love interest. In November 2018, British actress Anna Schaffer was announced for the role in the Netflix adaptation. Given the character's contradictory history between the page and the games, fans wondered whether the Witcher writers would lean into Triss's romance with Geralt on the series or return to the original text and sideline her in favor of other characters. On the first season of The Witcher, at least, it looked as though they were leaning more towards the books, with Schaffer's Triss maintaining a platonic-slash-professional relationship with Geralt and ultimately working more closely with the sorceress Yennefer. I enlisted a Witcher, Geralt of Rivia. I often wonder where fate took him. Somewhere unpleasant, I'm sure. No matter what the Witcher team chose to do with Triss Marigold for the show, one thing is undeniable. The actress who plays her looks incredibly familiar. Here's where you may have seen Anna Schaffer before. Anna Schaffer's first ever screen role was in 2009's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, in which she played a witch who couldn't land her romantic interest. Sound familiar? In the David Yates-directed film, Schaffer portrayed Gryffindor student Romilda Vane, the leader of a clique of girls who become obsessed with Harry, or rather with his celebrity status, and trail him around Hogwarts trying to get his attention. In case you've forgotten the small details from Harry Potter, Romilda Bane was a small but memorable character in the fifth film. Remember when Harry's best pal Ron Weasley accidentally ate a chocolate cauldron laced with love potion and became instantly infatuated with a girl? That girl was Romilda, who actually made the love potion specifically for Harry. Schaffer also appeared in the last two movies of the franchise, 2010's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2011's Part 2 Continuation. But her character had a more serious purpose throughout those installments. Romilda joins Dumbledore's army to fight against the evil forces taking over the wizarding world, but unlike many other minor characters, she survives the Battle of Hogwarts that left dozens dead. Schaffer has a connection to another beloved British-born franchise, one arguably even more popular than Harry Potter and one that's certainly been around for a lot longer. The actress appeared briefly on Class, a Doctor Who spin-off series written and created by Patrick Ness. The show centered around a group of teenagers studying at Coal Hill Academy, a fictional school that has popped up on numerous occasions throughout Doctor Who and the staff who worked there. On the series, which lasted only one season, Schaffer played Rachel Chapman, the girlfriend of main character Ram, who comes to a nasty end, only for him to move on to another love interest a couple of episodes later. So much for the power of love. Outside of worlds populated by witches, aliens, and would-be girlfriends, Schaffer has mostly been left with minor roles. She had a blink-and-you'll-miss-it part in the widely praised BBC drama Fearless in 2017, and before The Witcher, she popped up in the background of the forgettable British action movie I Am Vengeance. However, Schaffer managed to make a mark in a super melodramatic TV series. She played yet another troublemaker with a deeply hidden heart of gold when she took on the role of rebellious bully Ruby Button on the British daily soap opera Hollyoaks from 2011 to 2014, returning for four guest appearances in 2017 and 2018. In typical soap fashion, Schaffer's Ruby went through a lot during her brief stint on Hollyoaks, a hit-and-run in which she was a passenger, a foiled elopement that ended in her fiancé's death, social exile on account of all the bullying she'd masterminded, a cocaine-induced heart attack, and a new life in Spain. It almost makes dealing with the respective armies of Voldemort, the Shadowkin, and the Nilfgaard seem like a cakewalk. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.